What up bros? Do you guys have an issue with Pokemon Home not giving you a friend option? Add friends, trade with friends, or something along those lines? Well, that's what today's video is about. Watch from the start to the end, try not to skip any steps. What up bros? Uh, today we're talking about Pokemon Home and we are talking about the issue of the age restriction um, if you have actually at the start so this is uh, on the screen here I'm showing you the uh, access to Pokemon Home the moment you download it on your mobile and it asks you for your age now if at this point you actually put in um, an age that is considered underaged uh, you may not get uh, the access to see the add friend option or the ability to trade with a friend so that's uh, that's the issue today now here I'm purposely making a 16 year old account and you'll see that in a moment basically once this account has been created um, I've done today 2004 so about 16 years ago um, you'll see that the ability to add friends is not there so the button to add friends is not there now what I'm actually talking about today now you gotta understand that I totally support children protection online privacy etc etc but what um what this video is about is if you actually input your age wrong or you let a friend use your account or set up the account etc whatever it is you actually want to fix that problem uh, on your Nintendo uh, on your Pokemon home account well it's quite tricky it's actually not as easy as you might think now you see uh, so you see here that I put in the uh, the year 2004 now if all you've ever done on Pokemon home is set up this step and you've just entered the game you haven't actually transferred anything you haven't bought premium you haven't done anything else the best thing for you to do uh, instead of having an account that can't see uh, friends or can't add friends and don't so don't have that button um, what you should do just uninstall and reinstall the game altogether that way you you will put in the appropriate age that allows you to have use of that add friend button but beware if you're uh, uninstalling the game or you lose your phone on an untethered account so it hasn't linked to your Nintendo accounts then what will happen is you will actually just lose all save data in that file in that Pokemon home because the Pokemon home is not linked to the cloud in your Nintendo accounts it's only linked to your phone so whatever you've done with the phone version it will go once you uninstall or lose the phone now the problem is if you have already played around with home a bit you've transferred some Pokemons uh, from this game to that game that is the problem that we're talking about today for you to actually fix that issue you will need a new Pokemon home account but you actually need to unlink your this uh, the existing account by using another Nintendo ID to um, tether to it before you can link your new Pokemon Home account to your original uh, Nintendo ID, your own profile. Now, some other issues is uh, that will cause this method to not work is including if you've already purchased premium, then because of payment issues, it's already tied to that account. You won't be able to unlink that account. Um, you won't have that option to. The other problem is if you've transferred Pokemon from Pokemon Bank, um, then that's a bad idea as well because you can't bring the you can't send them back to the bank um, to unlink and relink. So you have to find some other way to safely deposit your Pokemon before you do this method. For all other Pokemon that are from Sword and Shield or Let's Go Eevee, Let's Go Pikachu, uh, they should be able to go into their respective games and then empty out your Pokemon home. You also cannot spoof time. I've already tried that. So with the 16 year old account, I tried to uh, increase my age by two years by changing just the settings on my uh, phone, on my mobile. Uh, it does nothing. All it does is it crashes the game. It won't even open. So here you'll see, um, I'm just going to put in a random name there uh, that my 
um, underage account is being created. So yes. So have a look here. Uh, my new account VB does not have the friends option. So I cannot play with add or trade with friends using the friends function. Now you can actually still do it even if um, you don't have that button, but it can be a bit more tricky. Conversely, the friend option is available on my main account over here. I've already got a bunch of friends added here and you can go in and press that trade button uh, in order to trade with your friend. Uh, bear in mind that you can only do this in close proximity because it does actually ch uh, track your GPS. It's fairly similar to Pokemon Go. Um, are there ways around it? Yes, there are. Uh, again, for another video. So this here is a passage written by one of our uh, members, uh, I Harv or Harvey. He's, uh, I asked him to write this, but we worked on this together. Basically, it goes through all the steps of how to uh, unlink your Pokemon Home account to and, and relink it to a new Nintendo Switch or a Nintendo ID. Then create a new Home account and link that back to your original one once that's freed up so as i've explained to uh, to you before several things you need to be aware of if you already purchased premium membership this will not work one of the options will not even be available and i'll show you which one in a moment all pokemon are put away in boxes from their games where they came from uh, the problem is if you have any from the bank you can't you can't go back the other way so you'll need to find another way to deposit them maybe some a friend's wonder box wonder box it may be a friend's pokemon home or something like that now i will be putting this entire passage into the description below so you can follow through from there while watching this video as well so the first step is to make sure all your Pokemons are deposited in their respective games. So go into your Let's Go or go into your Sword and Shield and transfer them back to where they came from as appropriate. So uh, I would do Pokemon Let's Go first because um, everything that doesn't have a cross, you bring them into Let's Go. That's the first thing I would do. Okay, I'm not actually going to do that. I'm just showing you what I would do. Then I will do Sword and Shield, and you'll see what's remaining that you can't actually put into these games because they probably came from Pokemon Bank. So here we're in Shield, and you put in all the possible Pokemons into the boxes on your Pokemon Sword and Shield. Now it's too bad for you if you've actually got Pokemons from Pokemon Bank, then you can't go back the other way. Uh, either you just play with the, this account or uh, you would bring them into another Pokemon home temporarily, maybe a friend's Pokemon home, maybe just open another account, uh, a third one in fact, to, to hold on to these Pokemons. Or you can keep it in this account and have it as the alternative account and trade them back to yourself later as well. If you follow every step of this tutorial properly, you shouldn't uh, lose anything. You shouldn't lose anything because at any at every point something is tethered to every single Pokemon Home account. So one of your Nintendo ID accounts will be tethered at every point along the way. Now this next part is to make sure you have a second secondary if you don't have make a new one Nintendo ID or a profile. So make something like uh, make make a new one. Uh, and if you don't know how to make a new one go to system settings um, you go down to user and you go add user or you can create that account on uh, Nintendo uh, website as well it's under the accounts section now once you've done that you go back to your mobile and you go to settings so you click the three little bars at the bottom okay. so over here your settings and options to look at your um, so actually it's signing me out here because I've just signed into my Nintendo Switch. You can only have one active at a time. So I'm just going to sign in again uh, on my mobile. So go back to options. So if you have a look over here, it says changing your Nintendo account, Nintendo account already link. Now this here is actually, it, it doesn't give me an option to change my Nintendo account. 
is because I am on the premium plan. That is why we said that you can't do this if you've already purchased premium. You can't unlink. It stays linked to this account. So you just have to create a new one altogether if you, if you want to play it that way. But of course, if you want to keep your original Nintendo ID to play everything on, um, then unfortunately you have to wait for your payment plan to expire um, and hopefully it will show up again. So at this stage, you want to link the uh, home account to the new Nintendo ID account. So what we want to do is go into settings, options, and that button there, the view details should allow you to uh, unlink. So I'm not actually going to do this, but it will allow you to unlink your existing one, provided you are on a basic plan, not the premium plan, and link your existing home account from the original uh, Nintendo ID profile. Uh, then you will uh, tether to or link to the second profile that you have set up already. Now at this point you actually want to uninstall the game so that you can sign out. So you've already tethered the uh, existing account to the alternative Nintendo ID. Uh, you freed up your original Switch account, your original Nintendo ID. Um, and you want to sign out of home, but the only way to do that with uh, Pokemon Home at this stage is to actually uninstall the app from your mobile device, re-download it, reinstall it, and then it will ask you to go through a number of things again. Now this time you will want to have the correct uh, date of birth, but of course also have the correct Nint Nintendo ID linked. So your original Nintendo ID, you want to sign in with that one. Now, one final thing that may not be very obvious to you is actually um, with Nintendo, uh, Nintendo setup of Pokemon Home, you also don't sign out of it automatically. Um, in order to uh, remove that attachment of your old uh, login with Pokemon Home on your profile, uh, you actually need to go delete the save data. Now, it shouldn't affect your actual content because your storage boxes are saved in the cloud with Nintendo, uh, less so to do with your local home save file. So you've got to delete save data, um, you select Pokemon Home, um, I'm not actually going to do this, and you clean them all out. So both of the ones that you have uh, messed around with the, um, the, the, the linking. Now we're nearly there, um, you go back to Pokemon Home once you've uh, removed all the save data and you go back into your um, uh, your respective profiles. Hopefully at this point your main one is associated with the new home account. Um, so for me it will be Vinny. Um, and then that's all done and dusted, it will go through with you one last time just to set up again pretending like you've never done this before. Now, thanks for watching. Um, that marks the end of how to actually fix the issue of Pokemon Home not having that friend button. Um, of course, like I said before, regarding children privacy, online safety, I still support that. It's got nothing to do with that. It's this tutorial is only if you messed it up from the start. If you still have any questions, and I'm, I'm sure there would be because it's, it's, it's not easy to do, you can leave a comment or come join our Discord channel. I'll leave uh, the link to our Discord channel in the description below. We have a Pokemon Home channel that you can come ask questions for. We have multiple people who are very knowledgeable in this area. But of course, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. That will allow me to make even more content for you guys if I'm seeing that there's a lot of interest for my videos.